All right, welcome back. Uh, for those of you that have uh, been watching here, uh, this is the Ronco Showtime 4000 uh, Rotisserie. Uh, what you guys are actually tuning in here for are the last 15 minutes uh, of the uh, rotisserie chicken uh, cookout here. Okay, as you can see here, there are two. Uh, there are two chickens here. Those are two chickens. Uh, they're about uh, a little, just a little over 10 pounds uh, total combined weight here. And you can see I added a, a tray right up here. There's a tray that comes with the deluxe uh, Ronco uh, rotisserie here. And that tray, it's a steam tray. It's called a steam tray. And what it does is it uh, basically uh, keeps... Uh, anything else like sides, uh, like french fries, beans, rice, uh, any type of uh, salads, uh, if you like your salads uh, nice and steamed and warm, uh, it keeps it uh, warm. Uh, it's very hot. Now what's causing, what is causing the the tray to to steam the vegetables? What's actually causing this tray here, this tray that I'm pointing to, What's causing this tray to stay warm and hot is the actual rotisserie itself. It's actually the, the chickens and the heat generated from the heat tubes back there, the heating system behind the chickens. That's actually causing this tray to heat up. So you can actually do two things at once. You can actually heat up the two chickens, okay, the two 10 pound, 10 and a half pound, or close to 10 and a half pound chickens, and you can heat up anything in here now what is it exactly you're probably wondering what is it exactly that I have in here and and I'll show you what I have in here are I have some beans and some rice and I have some broccoli and lettuce okay and I've already I've already uh, taken a look at that and I've already uh, examined that and it's really nice and hot there so so we're good there And yes, as you can see to the to the right of the rotisserie, I have that. There's like a waffle maker in view there. And this morning, I was able uh, this morning I was able to uh, do a pineapple banana uh, waffle uh, with a hint of a raspberry uh, with a uh, topped with a cherry filling. Okay, so uh, I will be probably posting that uh, soon. Uh, it actually came out really nice okay but right now we're focusing on the uh, chickens here and I'm gonna open that screen I'm gonna have you take a look at that screen there as you can see the chickens are nice and dark on the surface and uh, to my to my eye I mean that is just absolutely beautiful when they're nice and dark like that that means they're well done okay I don't smell any type of burning or anything of that nature there's no smoke coming from this rotisserie uh, at this time, okay, it's coming close to the end of the its cooking cycle. I don't see any uh, any type of burning or any. The smoke alarm has not gone off. Okay, I have a smoke alarm that's very close to the rotisserie. It's on the ceiling there. Okay, and it has not gone off, not even once. Okay, so that means it's not burning. Okay, and it's not burned. It's just really, really charred, and it's really, really good. Okay, so, well, I just saw a little bit of a flash there. Uh, what you just saw there was a flash, and I think, it's, I think it was because the heat uh, made some sort of a connection with the foil on the blast shield. Uh, that's not necessarily uh, dangerous as long as you monitor it, okay, because you certainly don't want the foil to catch fire. Uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, it's not dangerous. It's almost at the end of the cycle. I, I'm, I'm assuming that the the reason that the, that you saw that little flash there was because it is so hot in there. It is so hot inside uh, the rotisserie that uh, that there's just the the friction between the foil and the heat uh, is has absolutely no choice but to create a spark or a flash. So so that's you know that is to be expected. Not enough to cause. A fire okay I haven't seen anything of that nature 
Okay, I have not seen anything of that nature. The Showtime uh, Rotisserie 4000 is not a microwave, okay? It's a rotisserie, okay? So um, that spark that you just saw there is uh, is not in any way uh, dangerous, okay? I saw another one uh, prior to this, and um, it, it was nothing to uh, worry about, okay? So once again, uh, we are out com we're coming up to the end of this. It's been almost two and a half hours. Uh, there's about there's less than 15 minutes left on this cooking cycle okay and it has been seared I've seared it at least twice and it has gone through this two and a half minute cycle I mean it looked great I mean I I, I think it's gonna be just fine I don't I'm, I'm smelling it right now and it smells great I don't smell any burn, even though it's like really, really dark. I don't smell any burning whatsoever from this device. Okay, the chickens uh, appear to be very well done. Okay, I don't smell any any like serious, serious char or burning. I don't smell any of that. I know that we had some sort of an issue in the beginning because the fat was somehow hanging off of that and it was hitting the the hitting tube, the heating tube in the back, but. Uh, nothing uh, nothing major I cut off some of the fat um, that was hitting the back and the, the fat was not coming from the leg it was coming more from the neck area from the chickens uh, so I cut that off really quick it took me about two minutes to just kind of just cut everything off and uh, and and now it's like clockwork now we're not having any issues there uh, at this point in time any issue that arises I don't think it's it's a Ronco rotisserie problem. I, I think it's just a trial and error issue on, on our part as far as the, the, the cooks are concerned. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to cut off some of the fat. You're going to have to trim some of whatever is outstanding uh, in the chickens. But um, Mr. Ron Papil has not uh, uh, in any way, shape, or form uh, is, <laughs> is certainly not responsible for anything that's uh that negatively uh or adversely affects uh the chicken here uh mr rompa peel has made a very very good product here uh there's no question about that um if you're having problems uh mounting your product or or or, or getting the chickens up there uh obviously this is something that you know you know you, it's trial and error you have to learn how to do this Mr. Ron Papil has Mr. Ron Papil has uh, created a product uh, that allows you to train yourself as well as others through trial and error to do a proper uh, rotisserie of just about anything, whether it's chickens, hens, ribs, fries, steaks, what have you, anything that you can put in there in that basket or on these spits. Uh, he's created a very very I want to say unique and generous product that will allow you to accomplish that. Okay, some people don't. Uh, some people don't like their uh, their you know their chicken or their poultry cooked like this. Well, well done. I like my poultry like this. Okay, because I want to make sure that it's well done. It's tasty all throughout. Now, if you want to continue to uh, have that taste inside uh, the chicken as well. Uh, you're going to have to take extra steps and perhaps inject uh, your poultry uh, with some sort of an injection tube, which I think Mr. Rompa Peel uh, sells on, on his website on Ronco. You're going to have to get one of those injection tubes uh, that actually injects uh, any type of flavorful liquid into the chicken just to give, it ch uh, give the chicken a little bit of extra flavor. Uh, on the inside because it's definitely got the taste on the outside now the question becomes what is on the inside is it dry is it you know is it is it less flavorful on the inside that all uh, that 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 question uh, remains uh, to be debated when you eat the chicken okay it, it, it's, it's all it's all in a matter of the serving and in, in, in your taste, it's what your taste buds taste, you know, your taste buds are actually, in this particular case, 
for your taste buds are going to taste a very heavy, superficial uh, taste when it comes to this. Uh, they're gonna, your taste buds are going to be overwhelmed by by what's on the outside. Okay, by the by the chicken skin and and anything on the surface. But it, uh, as far as this chicken is concerned, on the inside, I believe that this chicken on the inside is going to be very flavorful because of the marinade because I let the marinade sit there for over 24 hours so this is going to be pretty flavorful but if you want more flavor if you want more flavor to something like this uh, to this uh, to this type of uh, setting where you have two chickens okay you're going to have to uh, if you want something a little more intricate you're gonna have to inject those two chickens with more flavor if you want more flavor coming from the inside okay that's just common sense all right we're coming up to the end uh, of this uh, video it's about uh, this video will probably be over in about five minutes the chicken will be over in five minutes and in case you're wondering it's like yeah let me open the glass the uh, the glass sh the glass screen here let me open this up Okay, you're getting a bird's eye view of of what I'm cooking here. Uh, two rotisserie chickens. Okay, yeah, it's like uh, yeah, it looks they look kind of dark and you know, it's like it's like well you know they look they look maybe like they're a little bit no they're not burned they're, they're very well done. These chickens are very well done. Actually, these chickens actually came out better than the last chickens that I made. And these are the, this is the first thing that I actually cooked on this rotisserie. Okay, I actually. This was the first thing that I threw on this rotisserie this morning. I got this rotisserie ready. I put it on this uh, this stationary stand. Okay, and this is the first thing that I did. I tied those two chickens up in less than five minutes. Those two chickens were tied, and I put them on the spit. And and the 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 Ronco rotisserie four thousand was turned on. Okay, and it has been almost two and a half hours. Uh, later, uh, if you look at the previous video when I put them in, you'll see that I had to make some adjustments because, you know, once again, you know, I'm not a professional <laughs> rotisserie chef. Okay, probably you're not a rotisserie chef either. Okay, uh, I'm admitting I am not a rotisserie chef. We all have a learning curve. Okay, but this is one of the first things that I actually cooked with this rotisserie machine. Okay, and and just like everyone else, okay, it took me it took me just a little bit to just tie them together. One, there's one tie on one, and there's one tie on the other. And there's no need for you to use seven or eight different ties to tie up this chicken. That is that doesn't make any sense. Okay, and the chicken is beautiful. I mean, it's charred. It's nice. Nothing. There's no burning. I don't smell any burning. Or whatever. Yeah, the chicken looks a little dark, but that's to be expected. Okay, you have to follow Rompa Peel's uh, recipe here, okay, where he says, he said for any type of chicken, okay, it's 15 minutes a pound. So you figure it's, if, so if it's, if it's 15 minutes a pound, it's whatever, how many pounds these chickens are, that's, these two chickens combined are just a little over 10 minutes a pound, just a little bit over 10 minutes a pound, okay. Uh, these these it's 15 excuse me there's 15 minutes a pound okay these two chickens combined are just a little over 10 pounds okay so that's 150 minutes so basically that equates to about two and a half hours this segment is almost done these chickens are almost done I have to give and take just a few minutes while I cut some of the bottom part because some of the bottom part of the chickens were actually hitting uh, the rear of the heating element, uh, which uh, which was causing uh, some sort of a, of, an, of a smoke issue there. But as you can see, that is not happening right now. Okay, everything is moving like clockwork. It's all it's all moving like clockwork, and it has been like that for the last hour and a half. It's been very nice, very smooth. Okay, the heating element is still heating very nicely. Everything is being heated very nicely. The chickens are very dark. Okay, that means they're very well done. Okay, and the tray on top here, this tray right here where my sides are being cooked, everything is working 
like clockwork. I recommend that you put that the tray on uh, anywhere between 40 to 30 minutes uh, prior to the end of the session. Okay, and uh, that's it. Okay, you're going to have perfect. And let me just open this again for you here. Okay, yeah, beautifully. If you take a look at that very nicely there, uh, let me just zoom in a little bit on that. Okay, if you look at that, those chickens, are, they almost look like they're glazed. It almost looks like there's like a glaze going on on the chicken there because they're, they're like shining, you know. It, it, it looks really, they look really, really nice. And, um, and no, they're not burnt. They're not burnt. As you can see, there's no smoke coming out of there. There's no smoke coming out of there. So that means it's not burnt. Okay. It's just really well done. We're going to wait until uh, the timer goes off. The timer is going to go off. The timer is going to go off in about two minutes. In about two minutes, this will be done. This up here is going to be, it's already, this is already done. As you can see up here, all right, there's already, it's already been steamed. It's already, it's ready to go. It's ready to be served, okay? So that's ready to go. And that's that, okay? I mean, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I've cooked a lot of different meals. I cooked some some really nice waffles uh, in the morning. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, uh, let me know. Okay, I'll be more than happy to uh, answer them. I hope you've enjoyed this. Do I recommend this product for anyone uh, that is uh, looking to uh, impress their family or have their family eat more healthier? or just basically leading a more healthier lifestyle for yourself and your family or just for just personal healthy eating or just even informational like you know I, I want to know how to eat chicken more I want to eat more healthy chicken uh, this is this device definitely uh, will allow you uh, to do that okay I've been just kind of uh, practicing on different devices how to um, how to cook healthier chickens and I can tell you uh, that I personally myself I have lost at least 10 pounds uh, in the course of two weeks I have lost about 10 pounds using uh, devices such as this uh, because it burns off all the fat or, or I want to say a large majority of fat, 40 to 45 percent of the fat okay so yeah and we just saw another flash there and again the flash is appearing on the on the blast shield by putting foil on the on the blast shield you're gonna see that it's like when it gets too hot when it gets really really hot you're gonna see a spark uh, on the blast shield uh, in the rear there you'll see a little bit of spark uh, and uh, again once again nothing to worry about okay this is nothing to worry about it just basically is saying hey this is really really hot you know don't touch this part because this is really really hot Okay, now why did I put foil on the blast shield? I put foil on the blast shield to basically protect the blast shield from any type of splatter that's going on. As you can see, it's finished. Okay, let me finish my, I'm going to finish my sentence here. I put the blast, I put the foil on the blast shield to protect it from any splatter uh, on the chicken or anything of that nature so it doesn't get too dirty. <laughs> and it doesn't uh, become defaced in any way. That's why I put it there, okay? As you can see, the timer went off. This is now done. I'm going to let it rest. I'm going to let my tray here, this tray that I have with my, with my sides, I'm gonna let that rest for a little bit. The machine has turned itself off. It is off, okay? And, and, and now it's gonna cool down. Machine's gonna. How long does it take for it to cool down? I want to say this machine probably takes about anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes for it to fully cool down, where you can actually pull it out with your bare hands. Okay. Uh, if you want to use the barbecue gloves, then you can you can actually pull it out right now. I, I don't want to pull it out right now because it's really really hot. I'm gonna let it rest, and you should let it rest. Okay, because once you let it rest, because it's still kind of cooking right now, you should certainly let this rest. Okay, 
So like that, it becomes more flavorful. It becomes uh, uh, something more delicious. Let it rest, okay? You must let this rest, okay? Let it rest, and then you pull them out, and then at that point, you can start serving yourself, your family, friends. You know, if you have your girlfriend over, a couple of girlfriends over, you know, it's time to serve them after about, say, you know, after 20 minutes of letting this rest, now you can do that, okay? This didn't need any type of babysitting whatsoever. As you can see, there's foil here, there's foil on the tray, and there's foil on the blast shield near the heating element where the blast shield is. And there was nothing, nothing, no incident, no accidents, nothing. There was nothing to, there was nothing to worry about here. Everything was just fine. So the, the, the chickens are done. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this. And, uh, you know, when you have a chance, just please subscribe because I'll certainly be uh, uh, putting up more videos. Thank you.